What's up guys and welcome back to our road to dark matter here in BO6 and in our last video our top comment was from G27 saying that they want us to get the SWAT 556 done with max FOV insensitivity and that's not what we're going to be doing today. I may or may not have already gotten gold on the SWAT 556. But to make it up to you guys today we'll be getting the melee's diamond. But if you want to leave a suggestion for what weapon you want to see us do next go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll have a comment down there as well with every weapon that we've already completed so make sure you check that out first that way we don't get any repeats. So I'm Equal parts excited trying to get our melees here at Diamond and a little bit nervous because from what I've seen and what I've heard about the melee weapons of the bat specifically is that it has not been fun for people to get these things done. Not only because you saw right there that the bat, similar to the E-Tool back in Cold War when that first released, this thing is a two-shot kill for a melee weapon. That is just absolutely like unacceptable. But to be honest, the, the swing speed on this isn't too bad. And I already got like the initial 50 kills with it. And I was able to get that done. The challenge I'm actually concerned with for this, at least so far, is that we're going to need to get 15 kills shortly after switching weapons. And that is going to be a pain to get done because melees have their own specific button in this game you have to hold down your melee button to even bring it out and that means i have to constantly switch weapons here switch back go in and try to get the kill and even then i get the initial hit off on him but he can still turn and get me before i can get the second swing down so i have debated going into hardcore with it but i feel like that is just even more painful and just trying to, you know, get a hot swap on some of these guys over here. Because if I think I'm getting killed too fast here in core trying to go for these melee kills, I'm going to get one shot by literally any weapon in the game going into hardcore. So I just do not think hardcore in melee weapons uh, mesh very well. I've never really had that much fun playing hardcore with a melee. It's always been a bad time for me. But in preparation for getting these melees done, I've used two of my permanent unlocks on stuff that's going to help us out here. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me pop off real quick. Let me use one of these permanent unlocks right here. Oh, I completely whiffed. But I used one of my prestige unlocks on the bruiser perk because that's just going to help us out a ton here. And the bruiser perk is going to allow us to get faster movement speed in something else. What does it do? Melee kills and finishing moves, replenish health, and earn extra score. So it's basically going to work like almost like a stim for us every time we get a kill with this, which is going to be huge. And then I also used another prestige token on our tomahawk because it doesn't feel right using a melee weapon and not using a tomahawk with it. Because back in Cold War, my favorite thing to do was to run around here on Nuketown with a melee weapon and just try to tomahawk people. It was just so much fun trying to outmaneuver people, just trying to go crazy here in between the two houses. And in Cold War, they added in so many melee weapons. And there, it looks like they're already trying to do the same thing in this game because with the new event coming out in about like a day or two, we're getting a power drill as a melee weapon, which is absolutely insane. I don't think it's going to work very differently from any of the other melee weapons. I was hoping that maybe you'd be, you know, something similar to like a nail gun or whatever, where it might be able to get like some sort of different melee ability, or at least in zombies, we might get like a different pack a punch ability if we're lucky. But I think it's just probably going to work like a, a normal melee weapon. Maybe we'll have more lunge or something. I don't know. Well, I just can't wait to get my hands on it. That's why I decided I wanted to hop in here and get our melees done. So when that comes out, we can immediately go for diamond on it. It's having a diamond power drill kind of just seems sweet. Sniper, get down. And I also got our battle cry field upgrade here, which didn't do us a whole lot of help, but I figured it might help out a little bit if I can use it a bit smarter, where I can just get that increased movement speed and it'll kind of work similarly to how uh, like Battle Rage worked back in the Modern Warfare games, but I guess we'll find out. I don't know if I mentioned this or not yet, but another one of our special challenges that we got to get done is getting kills without taking damage. And I think so far we've been doing all right on that. Maybe we've been taking a few shots here or there, but hopefully... Us focusing more on getting our kills shortly after switching our weapon is going to take more of our attention and then we'll just end up getting our kills without taking damage done in the meantime. But if we get stuck on that one, I'm going to start to get mad and I think maybe we'll have to switch to hardcore. Because in hardcore, I don't think there's going to be a way for us to take damage without just straight up dying. So any kill that we get should just be able to be without taking damage. But what's going to feel really nice is once we get this bat done and we switch over to our knife, it's going to feel like we've taken the training wheels off. Going from a two-shot melee to a one-shot is going to feel beautiful. Ooh, it already juked him out. Broke his ankles. He had no idea where we are at. 
He was looking on the whole wrong side of the fence in that game. How are we doing our first game here with the melee? 20 and 26? Not terrible. Let's see where we're at camo wise. I really hope we got a decent amount done. Four. Four out of 15, but we're 17 out of 30 for that. Ah, oh, this might take a bit. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, is that a double kill after switching? It should be. I wonder how much leeway they give you for that camo. I would love to have camo tracking in game. And Treyarch's been very receptive to feedback. Uh, I've recently complained about the XP tokens being taken away. Uh, my brain's trying to focus on too many things at once here. But after they disabled the legacy tokens, I was pretty upset about that because, you know, you can still go ahead and use them in Warzone and everything. But it just felt very inconvenient to go all the way into Warzone just to use them and come back. But they did add them back today. So, you know what? Props to you there, Treyarch. But while we're, you know, we're, we're communicating with the community, please let us get some camo tracking like we had in MW3. That is like one of the best quality of life features we've seen in a COD game in a long time, especially for somebody like me who like really just tries to go for camos in this game. And it's one of my favorite things to do. It just makes it so much better to go for. Ooh, and there's a nice Tommy. Eat that. I don't know if I've had a Tomahawk in these videos where we've been going for multiplayer camos yet. Feels good. Feels nice to be back here on Newtown Toss and Tommy's. But also, I'd like to apologize for the uh, gap in between our multiplayer videos here. I got a little caught up with zombies, and I'm going to try not to get as caught up in it as I did back in MW3, because then we completely uh, forgot about multiplayer for the most part. But it's not going to happen in this game. I I'm going to try to make sure that it doesn't. And then also, we will attempt the, the Warzone camo sometime soon, but that just looks so daunting. It's just a lot of kills to get, and we're going to have to play a lot of plunder. And I am not hyped for that. But you know what? Maybe once I get into it and get into the, the flow of it and figure out some nice camo grinding method, it could be good. It just seems like such a steep hill to climb just to start out. Now, I wonder for our kills without taking damage, is it just any damage in general? Or is it specifically taking damage from the person that like we're trying to kill? I'm going to assume it's just damage in general and we just need to play it very, very safe and not get hit by anyone. But taking a flashbang damage there, not not good. Not good at all. That even just one HP of damage, I think, stops us from getting that camo challenge progress. But luckily, it's not that many kills. Like, I've almost become desensitized to the number of uh, kills you need to get for specific camos. Because I remember back in Modern Warfare 2019, you used to have to get like 100 of everything. Like, it was ridiculous the amount of kills you had to get for each camo challenge. But... Now it's like only get 30 and it still feels daunting to me. Like I still have no idea how I got anything done back in Modern Warfare 2019. It just feels like so much. Oh, come on. I think what's really hurting us here is I'm not throwing the Tomahawk enough. I, I usually used to throw it every single time that I there's too much distance between me and whoever I'm trying to kill. Because that would just keep me alive and keep the streak going. Give me more opportunities to go for kills. But I haven't been throwing it as much. We need to find the fine line where I'm not neglecting it and I'm also not throwing it too much. Ooh, because then that's how we get into the flow state. Oh, come on, I was putting them on skates. Damn it, yikes. That was a bad game, but maybe it was a good game for progress still though. Eight out of 15 and 28 out of 30, not bad. We're almost to our double kill challenge. Okay, so I thought of a strat for us to try to get our kills shortly after swapping weapons here. And there is a perk for us to swap weapons faster, but I don't think the actual weapon swap speed has been bad. It's just, we need to find something with a little bit more mobility than what we had. So I went ahead and grabbed the C9 here, you know, the MP5. And the only attachment I have on it is no stop. So technically I took stuff off of the weapon, but it does have the fastest movement speed out of every gun that I've seen so far in the game. I was messing around with the attachments for a bit and it looks like it has like a, I don't know, a six millisecond, whatever that means sprint time. But supposedly with this weapon out, our 40 times should be faster than basically any weapon out there in the game. And hopefully we can get more kills like this. No, don't you leave. No way you stim through it. I didn't even get the kill. I wonder if those charity kills even count for this. That should though. There we go. Oh, and there's 30 kills without taking damage. Switch weapons, please. Okay, I'll just get a melee kill with our C9, I guess. We don't gotta worry about kills without taking damage anymore, at least not for our bat. We just need to get our weapon swap kills. I just gotta walk around YYing, basically.
Ah. Uh. I've been chasing this one guy around and I killed two other people that weren't him. Come here. What? Ooh. There we go. I almost gave him a kill. I walked right in front of his barrel there. I'm so lucky he wasn't shooting. Ooh. Okay, we're starting to get the hang of this. Maybe not. That was a little aggressive on my part. There we go. And an elder. This is so inconvenient to do. We could be getting these kills way faster if I wasn't having to swap. There we go. Whew. We at least got three during that life. That was pretty good. Oh, that's a Wilson. Almost went up to hit it. It looked like a person. Ah, let's go. That was sick. I just ate a nade midair just to come and hit him with the bat. Let's go. We got to get this challenge done this game. Oh, never mind. Of course. Camo curse said psych game's ending. Oh, we did get it. It didn't even show us. What? That's anticlimactic. I guess now we can work on gold, but it didn't show us our camo. Maybe we just got it real late in that game, or maybe I was having my head too far up my ass to notice. But we got our alternate colored version of our banished camo from Cold War. Honestly, this one kind of looks better. Now let's try not to over focus on getting our double kills because that's how we just get stuck in a loop and stuck in the camo curse. We just got our ball out, except we are joining into a game where we're literally just getting spawn camped. Maybe we, maybe we ball out in a different lobby. I ain't doing that. Maybe we try face off and we got stake out. This is either going to be really good for our double kills or really bad. Oh, it's face off though, or not face off kill order. Actually, you know what? They make me the HVT. We're good. That little extra health would be crazy for this. Come on. Let me get a double. There we go. That's a triple at least. Just a few more of those and we're good. No, dude, if I'm not running into somebody with a shotgun, I'm running into somebody using a superior melee weapon. Come on. There we go. That's a double. Add another one. Any of your teammates around want to get hit? Yes. Let's go. Keep it going. Oh, another. We're popping off. No, that should have been a kill. Damn it, dude. We were there. We were in the zone. Okay, we didn't win or go positive. But that one clip of us just getting a bunch of kills in a row should give us a good amount of progress. Yeah, all right. We're six out of 10. We're making our way there. And we got stake out again. There's not even a 24 seven stake out playlist. I'm just playing face off. Our luck is insane right now. Insane enough to get shot in the mouth by an auto shoddy. There we go. That's a nice double. The bat is like the one melee weapon I wish we could have attachments on. Let me throw some barbed wire on here. Get it with a little nice little, little Lucille action. Holy shit. Sergeant Stutter. Put it to the day, Junior. Or maybe even put like a, a shock stick on it for a limited time and I can stun people with it. Or even... Oh my god. It's got absolutely fucking slaughtered by that shotgun. Or even just like, you know, putting some like shards of glass or like, I don't know, a, a knife or something into it. I guess that's a little redundant having a knife in a in a bat when a knife's already a weapon. But I'm just trying to find a way to make this bat a one hit kill. There's no reason for it to not be. Bad time to be switching your weapons there, buddy. Am I getting these kills like just a little too far apart to not get a double kill? Oh, no, it was a triple. That's what I'm talking about. Watch the game not count triple kills as like one double and then an extra kill after it. That'd be funny, but also I'd be heartbroken. Ooh, that Tomahawk made up for it though. Oh, I just saw them go for it. I completely forgot that if you do your other click, like your aim down sight click or whatever, your, your alternate hit, you get a, a little animation that makes it a one hit kill. It hasn't really affected us too much while getting our other camos done, but it would have been nice to know. We could have gotten something done. But we're still getting triples. I guess it don't matter that much. Oh, and there's gold. Let's go, baby. Let's get a little extra kills here at the end. And then we'll switch to our knife. I can't believe it took me one double kill away from gold to remember that that was even a thing. But honestly, I think it's probably about the same speed swinging twice. 
And you could just get your kill completely taken away if you g try to go for that uh, little assassination animation almost. Now for our knife, we also need to get kills without taking damage, which should be all right. We should be able to passively get that done, but I'm not remembering what our other special challenge is. So maybe we can... Uh, Oh, never mind. Well, I guess we can go check. I was going to say, maybe we can just get some done on accident. So we need 50 eliminations while the enforcer specialty is active. Okay, we already got that. Easy. And then kill without taking damage. All right. All right. I think we played out our luck getting stake out twice in a row. We're going back to Nuketown. We got to stay efficient here. Got to keep the momentum going. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Keep it going. No, no, Tommy, let's go. Oh, don't see me, damn. That would have been sick. I forget that I can actually swing my knife while I dive in the air. I gotta get a kill like that. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Immediately. Ooh, ooh! Putting him on skates. My movement's crazy right now. That Tomahawk would have been nice to hit. It don't matter because we're still going. Oh, you got to reload? That sucks. We're cooking right now. Ooh, keep it going. No. Oh, that was such a nice streak. It always feels so good to go on a nice melee streak. That's how you really tilt the other team too. People hate getting killed by melee weapons. Even though it's just so simple just to shoot somebody that's using one. Not like they can shoot back. Except for there's me. Go shoot back with a Tommy. Okay, now I'm, I'm, my ego's getting too big. I'm getting body sprayed and teabagged. This is what happens. I know they're tilted now. They're pissed. Now that they're tilted, they're going to start playing a little bit more dumb. That'll allow me to get a few extra kills. Maybe. Or they'll be primarily focused on taking me out. Just uh, out of spite. Ah. Uh. Oh, let's go. Damn, if there's a third person there. I felt it. I knew I was going to go for the knife and just throw the Tommy right after. We're so back. No, we're not. We're whiffing swipes on somebody that don't even see us. Okay, we had a Tommy him. We got stunned with their shot. Come here. Why can I not hit people now? My ego is repelling them. I really hope we have the right specialist on. I didn't even ch double check to see if it was the, the same one that we needed. I'm almost positive it's Enforcer. It's the only one that really makes sense for melees. But it would really suck if we're getting all these kills and getting no progress towards that. Oh, we're still going. Now I can just tell that our, our next games after this is going to be pretty brutal. Because we're 33 and 12 right now with just a knife. Like, they, they put us down in, in a little bit of a lower SBMM lobby. Now, when we're going to need our double kills, they're going to punish us. This is what the Camo Curse likes to do. I'm already, like, preemptively complaining about it, even though we're doing pretty well right now. But it likes to build us up so it can knock us down. That's one of the, the key features of the Camo Curse. And I just realized I don't have my minimap on. I turned it off for zombies and forgot to turn it back on for multiplayer. Whatever, who needs it? I was wondering why my UAV wasn't working. Like, I guess I've just gotten so used to hardcore that I haven't really been looking for it. Ooh, an assassination right at the end here. Get Darth vader Oh, we already got our kills without taking damage done. Oh, we need 50 kills with Enforcer on. Okay, at least we know we had the right one on. So let's go ahead and finish that camo off. That should be easy enough. And while we're doing that, I think we're well overdue for another Gamer Guy Does Sports Talk segment. We haven't had one since, I think, our first multiplayer video. And it's been a few weeks of the NFL since then. Uh, I think in between that time, the Lions have played the Vikings, the Texans, and the Packers. Oh, wait, no, that's not right. We've played the Vikings, the Jaguars, and the Texans, right? Something like that. Honestly, I, I, I don't know. All I know is that the Lions have been one of the most fun teams, if not the most fun team to watch in the NFL. And that's just not, that's not just bias. Like, if you see anything going on with the Lions, it's always us running some crazy, like, offensive schemes and concepts. We're doing plays where we're trying to, like, you know, throw the ball to linemen being disrespectful as hell. Or, like, we're running, like, hook and ladders, basically, where a player will catch the ball and then just toss it to somebody else, like, right behind them. Like, we have some insane play designs where we just have anything and everything going on just to, just to dick around. It's like we're playing backyard football back there. 
And I heard my friend Siki describe it as like, we're the Harlem Globetrotters of football with the way that we try to just mess around and, and just have fun in some of these games when we're playing against like some teams in the NFL that have been doing as, as well. Like with against the Titans and against the Jaguars, both those teams have been doing as crazy this year. And I'm always scared going into games like that where it, it feels like it's a game we should definitely win, but it's also could be a trap game where we just play down to competition and get our asses kicked when we're playing too cocky. But from everything that I've seen, we do not play down to competition. We haven't played down to competition. I, I think the worst we've done so far was against the Texans with, with Goff throwing the five interceptions, but we still found a way to win that game. Holy shit. Look at me go. But I really like that we're not taking our foot off the gas in these games. Like, it really feels like this is a, a special team. Like, this is the best Lions team I've seen in my entire life. I'm 25, almost 26 years old. And it, just in the last year and a half, the Lions have been better than I've ever seen them be. And they've already been putting up ridiculous stats. Like, before that five interception game that I mentioned, Goff was on a run where he had an entire game where he didn't have an incompletion. And we are going into the Texans game with more touchdowns than incompletions, which is absolutely insane. And I think in just four different games this season, we've had more touchdowns than incompletions. Like outside of that Texans game, he has been one of the most, if not the most efficient quarterback in the league. And I really think he could have been in the MVP conversation, but people just have this thing with Jared Goff where they never see him as like an elite quarterback, despite putting up like some of the best numbers in the league and constantly like winning games for us and just doing everything that he's asked to do. I think it's just because our offense has so many weapons and Goff isn't really like the, the charismatic type or he's not making like insane, like highlight level type plays just on his own. Like you don't see him running people over like Josh Allen or like out running an entire defense like Lamar or doing some like Anthony Richardson insane, like deep ball type throws. Like he's just, playing quarterback and he's playing it well so i was pretty upset when he threw those five interceptions because everyone's just gonna be like oh it's jared goof again jared goff's ass he's so bad like there's always just this narrative around goff that he's can't play well i i just don't think that's true i think people should uh put some respect on his name but also at the same time if they're gonna keep doubting him and going into these games putting doubt on him and keep it up go for it let him throw for 400 yards on you but it isn't always all sunshine and rainbows here in detroit with uh what's going on with the lions our defense has been ravaged by injuries like it has been terrible like a lot of starters and just like key players on our defense have gone down like just to start the season out emmanuel mosley or one of our cornerbacks that we signed a few years ago uh, i think he might have torn his mcl or something i i can't keep up at this point but it seems like the last three seasons he's gotten a season ending injury like almost immediately last year he was coming off of a torn acl and i think he started playing again like week four and within like the first one or two snaps of him coming back from that acl tear he tore his other one which is just insanely unfortunate but then obviously we had that big injury to aiden hutchinson when he's on pace to be like defensive player of the year and even now weeks later He's still like in the, the top five or he might have fallen out of the top five now, but he's like top 10 in sacks still. And he hasn't played in the last four weeks on top of having a bye week prior to the week that he got injured. But then we had Malcolm Rodriguez get hurt. We've had Ify, who's been out on IR, come back to practice recently and then hurt his hand and now he's right back on IR. And then our starting linebacker, Alex Anzalone, or how I like to call him, anal zone broke his forearm and he's going to be out for like eight weeks like we are playing with scraps for a good amount of our defense and it just sucks but despite that our defense has been playing way better than it has in the last few years like our secondary is like way way improved from before we can actually cover some receivers actually make a difference in the passing game and stop some big plays and they've actually been able to tighten down a lot in the red zone. I think we have one of the best red zone defenses where, you know, you might be able to drive down the field a little bit on us. But once we get to the red zone, we, we tighten up and we'll either like hold you to a field goal or pick it off. Like Curvy Joseph's been getting an insane amount of interceptions. And then Brian Branch went ahead and picked up where Aiden Hutchinson left off on his rally to try to get defensive player of the year. 
He's been playing absolutely out of his mind. And on top of that, our defense, I don't think it's allowed a single quarterback to have more than one touchdown pass against us the entire year, which is crazy. And we also haven't had a running back rush for more than 100 yards on us or 100 yards at all in like 600 days, apparently. Apparently, the last time it happened was against the Panthers. And there's our gold. See, this is what I got to do. I just got to sit here and yap. And then we end up actually just playing out of our minds because I'm not actually paying attention to the camos. I'm just going for it. But with us not allowing a 100-yard rusher, I think that's been like a big part of our, our team, uh, I don't know, mentality, culture, whatever you want to call it, where whatever has like messed us up in the past, it feels like we, we have learned from that and like try to make sure that don't happen again. Because when we went against the Panthers, it was like two years ago. That, that was the season where I think we started off with a, a good amount of losses and then came back and, and started like we finished the season off like winning what was it like eight out of ten games something crazy like that and we had a chance to make the playoffs and if we would have beat the Panthers that game we would have probably made it in but instead we had like Chubba Hubbard running all over us and the Panthers breaking like the single game rushing like record for for a regular season game and ever since that game we've had one of the best rushing defenses in the nfl and then after the niners game in the nfc championship last year where we had a good lead going into halftime and we've got absolutely decimated in the second half that whole year last year it felt like we were not a second half team like we would get stuff done in the first half and then when it came to the second half it's like we took our, our foot off the gas and just completely gave up. Like we weren't making adjustments where we needed to, or we just like got content there in the second half and didn't do anything else. Whereas this season, we came all the way back against the Texans winning in like the final moments there, like rallying all the way back from what was it? We were down like 20 something points. And just in general for the rest of the season, I think the third quarter has been our best quarter. I saw some like stat or whatever, like a week or two ago where it was showing like our point differential per quarter. And in the third quarter, we outscored our opponents by like 102 points. Like we just took off in the third quarter every single week. All I hope is that all this momentum doesn't like fizzle out in the regular season. It would really suck to have like a insane regular season and go crazy in it just to have like a first round out in the playoffs. That's what I'm the most scared of. I feel like with the way our team's been going, we should be okay to, like, keep this momentum up in the playoffs. Uh, I'm not saying it'd be, like, a guaranteed win or nothing, but we'd at least play hard in the playoffs, and that's all you can really ask for. I don't know. All, all I can say is I'm just really happy at where we are at as, like, an organization, as a team, and it's just been nice to see the Lions actually do well and be consistent for once in my life. So I'll, I'll stop yap in here let's uh focus on trying to get our uh three kills without dying to work on this diamond challenge oh wait nope one more thing football related but i'll make it quick so you might know i i don't particularly like aaron Rodgers. uh he was the quarterback for the green bay packers for the longest time you know the team that beat up on my team constantly one of our division rivals and now he plays for the new york jets where he's basically had full control to do whatever the hell he wanted he can get all the players that he wanted over there uh, basically any of the staff he wanted over there he's basically like running the whole team and they have been doing absolutely awful not only is their record bad but they fired their head coach earlier in the season to try to you know turn things around even though he's more of a defensive coach and it was their offense that was really lacking at the start and now that their defensive minded head coach is gone their defense has not been playing well at all and then they decided to go and trade for Devonte adams which is one of the, the league's best receivers and he played with aaron Rodgers back in green bay and they're like you know what this is going to be the push we need to get our offense back on track and it has not been they have just been losing games. And just to, to put a little cherry on top, you know, just to, just to make me smile a little bit more, they just fired their general manager too. So Aaron Rodgers came in there, he made the team in his own image and just it's not been any better than when Zach Wilson was there starting or even Sam Darnold. And it's just been a, a joy to see. It's been very cathartic seeing Aaron Rodgers just absolutely implode the entire Jets organization. I, I guess, I mean, it already wasn't going that well before, 
but I like to think that it's all Aaron Rodgers' fault, and it, it makes me happy to think that. Okay, now sports talk is over. How many three kills without dying do we need? 10? 15? I feel like I've made decent progress so far. We've had our moments of popping off. We got four out of 10. Okay, that's not bad. Ah, oh, that's a nice three kills without dying. Maybe we can make it a six. Just one more. Oh, let's go. That's six. Maybe we can continue it. Make it a nine. Ooh, one more. Oh, no. That should have been it. I got a hit marker. Fuck. That was still pretty good, though. Can't be mad about that. One. A two. A three. No, damn it. Don't let me hit my fucking Tootsie Roll pop on him. Woo. Really got that one. Sniper, get down. We have a requesting UAV tasking. Oh, that's a nice three right there. Oh, and there's Diamond, baby. Let's go. Now we just need to work on our knife. Let's swap it out. And it should be a bit easier now that this is just a one hit. We don't got to worry about going for those somewhat assassinations. Those, those halfway assassinations. Ooh. Oh, we were almost starting strong there. Almost got a three right away. Oof. Ah. Oh. We're just too nice with it. Too nice. We just got to keep switching between face off and, and nuke town. And eventually, we're going to hit the, the sweet spot. And this looks like it. Ah. Yeah, keep spawning over here. Keep doing it. Please. Let's go. Can't find me, can ya? Holy shit, let's go. That would've been sick if that's diamond right there. Come on, game. You know you wanna give it to me. Pause. 32 and 18. I feel like we're just one triple kill away. We went into that game with only one and now we only need one. And that's play of the game too. Look at this movement. We are locked the fuck in. We are also spawn killing the shit out of these guys where they can't really react too much, but I was dodging, I was bobbing and weaving. That was clean. Where are we at? Oh, seven out of 10. Damn. How am I whiffing these shots? Give me Commando Pro, please, dude. A little lunge there would have been nice. Oh, that's bullshit. All of a sudden, I got T-Rex arms. Come on. We're on a two. Someone walk through this door. I dare you. Or you don't have to. I'll come out to you. Oh, one more kill here. And we could be on a six, and then I think we might be done. No! Oh, he jumped over our blade. He was hitting that that Obi-Wan versus Darth Maul. Oh, let's go. That should be six. And show me diamond. Let's go, baby. All done. One more for the road. We'll see how long we can continue this life. How far can we go with it? Not much further. Holy shit. Okay, get me out of here. We're done. We got diamond. Let's just double check and make sure that I didn't hallucinate that. Oh, let's go, dude. Let's go check these out in game. All right, here is what our knife looks like with diamond on it. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad we got this class done. And we got two of the hardest, if not the hardest classes done in the game with the launchers and now the melees. And we are ready for that power drill to come out. And of course, we can't forget about our baseball bat here. This thing has got to be expensive as hell. The entire bat is covered in diamonds besides that gold laced grip. It is just absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad these are done. It was actually pretty fun. I thought we might reach into a frustrating territory, but not too bad. We, we honestly kind of slayed out. Kind of an easy class. Well, there you have it. We went ahead and got our melees done. If you want to see any specific weapon, remember to go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. The top comment will be the weapon that we do next. Assuming that I don't get it done between now and when the next video is out. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Later.